Hello, and welcome to a slightly different figure review today. It is of a Japanese construction figure set of the um, Chimcha evolution chain. Uh, that's Chimcha, I can't remember the middle one's name, and Infernip, and you get a bonus Pikachu figure with it. Uh, as I said, this is a construction kit. It shows there that Pikachu comes in three parts, Chimcha in ten, the Evolution in 9 and in Furnip in 32. Furnip's basically the main feature of this because, as the box shows there, it's movable because it has internal parts. Um, so that's going to be fun to build. Thankfully, I have Glenn here with me who is going to help me. And as you can see at the front, um, Chimchar is number 7 and the Evolution's therefore. An eight and nine so briefly just open this up to show you what you get here are the instructions which is very very helpful and then these well that's Pikachu and part of the moving part and that is what the figures are made of and the stickers you get with them to put on now it's very light but hopefully these should look pretty cool so I'm gonna set this camera up on a tripod and we're gonna film as we build it and then speed it up probably with some music over it. So back in a bit. is finished so we have yeah these are incredibly light an eyeless Pikachu that is horrible yes I know I'm sorry if I've given you nightmares we can't find the other eye um, so that's Pikachu then the actual point of the set Chimcha yay he's adorable he has a sticker on his fiery tail thing uh, he looks really happy. The stickers are really nice and they keep on him fine. Like Pikachu for some reason. Then we have Monferno, the guy I couldn't remember the name of until Glenn reminded me. And his uh, horrible gauntlets. Yes, unfortunately his stickers are not of the best quality. It's it's just the set in general. The set stickers that come with it are not brilliant. However, he is very detailed, as you can see. He's got fire on his tail, he's even got the little spots and the rings on his arms and such. Uh, so yeah, Monferno is pretty cool. And as you can see, not much taller than Jimjar, oddly enough. And then the piece de resistance, which is partly what I bought the set for, really, in Furnip, and he's fucking awesome really detailed also thankfully a lot of the colors on him are actually part of the plastic thus the yellow most of the yellow sea is actually yellow plastic not the stickers which is good also if you move his head his arm moves Glenn if you could demonstrate he does look like he's preparing for a rapping career but or driving, possibly. Or driving, yeah, just, you know, checking out some female monkeys as he's driving, maybe. If he's male, I don't know, maybe it's female. My Infernip is female, actually. But yeah, uh, Infernip, although, as you can see, you know, Chimcha, then Monfernip, and then fucking Infernip! He's huge. He's. I don't think it's actually this scale, but I think the set is just dedicated to Infernip. No. Also, briefly, aside, let's look on the side of this. Uh, Lugia looks incredibly derpy there. There are other sets. There's the uh, Chikorita one for all the people that have no taste in Pokemon. There's the Cyndaquil one. Uh, oh, Typhlosion looks so cool. 
And then there's the awesome Totodile one with the Fraligator, which I'm really tempted to buy. And then there's a uh, rather large looking Lugia and Ho-Oh. Never been a fan of Ho-Oh, though I hear a lot of other people are, so... Um, but yeah, it's P something about Pikachu's mouth and tail, I don't understand. Japanese, so I don't know what it's saying. Also on the back, there's... Uh, Okay, there were, ah, there we are, yes, pictures of the other, like, Gen 4 starters. The Turtwig one's lovely, and you get a knocked out Pikachu, which is really odd, but, you know, endearing. So, yeah, well, thank you very much for watching the Pokemon Assembly Kit figure review. Unfortunately, I don't have the official name for it, because it's in Japanese, and I can't read it. Thank you very much for watching. Um... And, as always, you know, if you like this video, then like it, as in click the like button, and possibly subscribe, maybe? Until next time, goodbye.